We remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate for you are with us here, and we believe that we will see. to touch you and be healed. Gather all your people and hold them to your heart. We remember how you loved us to your death and still we celebrate for you are with us here. That we will see you when you come in your glory, Lord. We remember, we celebrate, we My brothers and sisters, welcome to our celebration today. We continue our Easter celebrations this day as Jesus reminds us in our gospel to listen to his voice and to not only listen, but to follow it. Let us begin our celebration this day with the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Coming together as God's family this day, that acknowledge our sins and so prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us praise God together. Glory to, to God, God in the, in the highest, highest and on earth. earth. Peace, peace to people of goodwill. Good will. We, we praise, praise you. you. We bless you. you. We adore you. you. We glorify Lord, you. you. We, we give you thanks for your great, great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King. O oh God, God, Almighty Father, Father. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten, only begotten Son. Son, Lord God, Lord God Lamb of God, God Son, of Son of the Father, Father. You, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, of the world. Have, have mercy on us. us. You, you take, take away the sins of the world, of the world. Receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. You, you are seated, seated at the right hand of the Father, of the Father. Have, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in, in the, the glory, glory of God, God the, the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. So let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, let us lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 My friends, let us now listen to the word of God as it is proclaimed to us. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and Barnabas went on from Perga and came to Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath day they went into the synagogue and sat down. When the meeting of the synagogue broke up, many Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who spoke to them and urged them to, to continue in the grace of God. The next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. But when the Jewish officials saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy. And blaspheming, they contradicted what was spoken by Paul. Then both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly, saying, 
It was necessary that the word of God should be spoken first to you. Since you reject it and judge yourselves to be unworthy of eternal life, we are now turning to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, saying, I have set you to be a light for the Gentiles, so that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and praised the word of the Lord. And as many as had been destined for eternal life became believers. Thus the word of the Lord spread throughout the region. But the officials incited the devout women of high standing and the leading men in the city and stirred up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and drove them out of their region. So they shook the dust off their feet in protest against them and went on to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We are God's people, the flock of the Lord. Cry out with the joy to the Lord, all you lands, all you lands. Serve the Lord now with gladness. Come before God, singing for joy. We are God's people, the flock of the Lord. Know that the Lord is God. Know that the Lord is God. Who made us to God, we belong. God's people, the sheep of his flock. We A reading from the book of Revelation. After this, I, John, looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white with palm branches in their hands. And one of the elders then said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal, they have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they belong before the throne of God and worship Him day and night within His temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to the springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. So my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, you, to Lord. you, Lord. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else and no one can snatch it out of my Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Here's a story I shared with you a few years ago, and although you may have heard this story before, don't stop me. I think I was preparing to, many years ago, as I was preparing to become a Franciscan friar, I spent an entire month on retreat in the desert of New Mexico with 17 other young men who were preparing to entry into the Franciscan order just like myself. The very first few days of the retreat was a getting to know each other part of the retreat. 
Each day we had different activities and various discussions, all so that we could get to know each other each and a little bit better for the next 30 days. Being the shy and reserved person that I am, by the end of the third day, I was pretty convinced I knew everyone in the group, except one, one very quiet brother from, from Mexico. And when the time came for our final session, the retreat leader asked him to look around the group and pick out the one person that he didn't know, he feel, didn't feel that he knew so well, and fate would have it, he chose me. That was great, I thought to myself, but I didn't know his name. But we began our activity without knowing each other's name anyway. Believe it or not, the first activity that we had was finger painting. One person had to paint and the other person had to guide them. And the catch was the person who was painting had to be blindfolded. And they had to explain to the other person what they wanted to paint. So I, of course, went first. So under my blindfold, I envisioned a, a beautiful sunrise over the mountains with streams and trees running about. And as we, as we began, it felt very strange not to be able to see the actual colors in person or what I actually wanted to paint. I just kept wanting to move my finger by myself, but the other friar kept putting it back where he thought it should be. After about 15 minutes of struggling, I took off my blindfold and looked at the painting I created. It was a mess. The other friar was guiding my hand, said, ah, don't worry about it, it looks, it looks great. Then he proceeded to put on the blindfold over his eyes and prepared to paint. The end result of his painting was slightly better than mine, of course, but in the end it didn't matter. The goal was to get to know each other a little bit better, and that we did. But I didn't still know his name. And then it hit me. I knew that if I could ask him his name without embarrassing either one of us, since he spoke Spanish quite fluently, I thought I would ask him what his name translated into English would be, not being a very clever idea, but something, a kind of... And some of the friars whose names from Mexico were Ro Rogelio, which is Roger, and Juan, which is John. So I asked him, I said, what would your name be translated into English? And after giving me a rather strange look, he said, Jesus. My name is Jesus, but in English you can call me Jesus. So we had a good laugh about that, and I'll never forget it. His name was Jesus, but I had to call him Jesus. My friends, the reason why I tell you this rather long story again today is because I think from time to time we all look for the presence of Jesus in our lives, and oftentimes we look for him we sometimes miss him. We miss his call. We miss his voice. There are so many other voices in our lives calling out for our attention. We sometimes miss the call of Christ to come and follow me. Look at our gospel today. Jesus tells his disciples to listen to his voice, listen to his call, and follow his lead. Time and time again after the resurrection, the disciples didn't recognize Jesus right away. And it wasn't until after the fact did they hear him and understand what he was trying to teach them? Don't we do that sometimes too? Don't we oftentimes look for God's presence? We look for and pray for the guidance of Jesus. And although we may be looking for his presence and pray for his guidance, we get so caught up in speaking and asking for his help, we sometimes miss his voice and miss his help that we actually have or need at the very moment that we hear it. I know it sometimes happens to me. I know what happened in that finger painting story that I just told you. I wanted to push one way and Jesus wanted to push me another way. I knew what I wanted and he knew what I wanted, but I had to tell him. And it wasn't until I took my blindfold off and asked him his name that I realized that Jesus was really Jesus guiding me all the way. I had the vision of what I wanted, but he guided me along that way. All I had to do was listen to his voice and follow his leading. My friends, as we continue our Easter celebrations this day, our gospel passage challenges us to be attentive to the voice of Christ, to trust in the real presence of Jesus in our lives, a real presence that is active in our lives, a real presence that is guiding us in our lives, a real presence that is really and truly with us every moment of our lives. No matter where we find ourselves, no matter what we're doing, Jesus invites us to today to hear him, to listen to him, and to follow his voice, wherever that voice may lead us. If these words have meaning in your life and mind, and may God give you his peace. Amen. So together as one family of believers, we profess our faith this day in Father, Son, Holy Spirit, as we pray.
I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Feel with the Spirit, let us unite us to one another. We present our prayers to the Lord. For the Church, sent by God to shepherd his flock, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For a growing respect among people of all races, cultures, and religion, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not resist the risen Christ, but welcome him into our lives, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the infirm, separated from their parish communities, and all those who join us today, that this Mass, celebrated for them, will bring comfort and joy, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us take a few moments and offer our own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. Father, we pray that Jesus, the Good Shepherd, will become the center of our lives. We ask this prayer in his name, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My friends, having listened to God's word, let us celebrate his supper with joy and thanksgiving. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be be God God forever. forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed be be God God forever. forever. So pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the the Lord Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewed constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And And with with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We We lift lift them up up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It It is is right right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to his faithful people. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving you thanks, Father, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, Father gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat this bread and, and drink, drink this cup, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by his Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity and love, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by his divine teachings as brothers and sisters, we dare to pray. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and worry as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer peace in our hearts and in our minds to those who we need God's peace this day. In the silence of our hearts, let us offer them our forgiveness and our peace in his name. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but and only say the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe from eternity.
So let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless and protect you now and always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Have a great Sunday. sunlit sky, the moon, the wildflowers growing, but we are part of all that is within life's river flowing. With open hands receive and share. The gifts of God's creation that all we have abundant life in every earthly nation when body shivers. On behalf of Monsignor Massman and myself and our entire community here, we thank you all for joining us today. We thank you for joining us in our prayers. Be assured of our continued prayers for each and every one of you. We hope to, we hope to see you next week and enjoy us and continue to celebrate the Easter season with peace and joy as Christ is intended. We thank you for coming today and keep us in your prayers. We keep you in yours. God bless. See